Hey, Danny, you want to see me song with me while I play my cat piano? No, Jeffy. But, Danny, I already got you a microphone. That's not a microphone, that's a razor. What's a razor? I use that to shave, Jeffy. Goddamn, bitch, you got a bunch so big, you got to break out the power tools? I got a song about that. We don't want to hear a song, Jeffy. Turn off your cat piano and go to your room. Go. Mommy needs to shave her hairy bush, shave her hairy bush, shave her hairy bush. Mommy needs to shave her hairy bush before it gets long and stinky. That's it, Jeffy. You are you are grounded. How am I grounded, Daddy? I'm just speaking straight facts. Look at the hair on this thing. At least we know that the carpet matches the drapes. Ew, Jeffy, put that out. Ow! There's someone at the door. Baby, just go, go wash his mouth out. Hello? Howdy, neighbor. Hucker dudes, what do you want? Well, I'm taking my wife on a date night to a fancy little restaurant called Outback Steakhouse. Ever heard of it? Really hard to get into. 45 minute wait with a reservation. Bloomin' onion to die for. Filet mignon melts in your mouth. I've been to Outback Steakhouse. Oh, I didn't know you could afford it. Father, why can't we go? Now, Timmy, what did you get on your report card? A B. A B? Well, I B positive you're not going to Outback Steakhouse. Steakhouse. Anyway, Marvin, I was seeing if you'd watch the tots for us. The last babysitter got fired for sleeping on the job. Now, Hank, tell him where she was caught sleeping. In bed with me. <laughs> that's right, you cheating bastard. Yeah, that's why I'm taking her to Outback Steakhouse. I gotta apologize somehow. <laughs> it's not enough. Oh, come on, honey. I told you you could get two appetizers just as long as one of them's that blooming onion. Well, here we have a list of huck do's and don'ts for you. Yeah, it's like an instruction manual for kids. Sometimes you just want to take the batteries out, huh, Marvin? <laughs> well, I'm really busy. Here you go. Yep, phone number's on the back. See you later. What? I didn't say yes. <sighs> come inside, kids. <sighs> Who was at the door, Marvin? It was the Hucker Dudes. They want us to watch their kids. And you said yes? They didn't give me a choice. Come on, Daddy. You know Mommy wanted to spend some alone time with you. That's why she shaved her bush. So what are your names? Hello, ma'am. My name is Timmy. And I'm Susie. Pleasure to meet your acquaintance. What do you two do for fun? Well, we follow a very strict schedule. First, we practice our instruments. I play the violin. And I play piano. Then we have our vocal lessons. la la la! <laughs> Susie needs a few more lessons. Then we take a bath together to save on water. Then we go to bed at 8 p.m. sharp. <laughs> I hate my life. Are you kids hungry? Well, we are. But our mother packed us some romaine lettuce to nibble on in case we do get hungry. <laughs> Kill me. Okay, you kids are not eating romaine lettuce for dinner. I'm going to get Chef Pee to make them something else. And I'm not going to follow your mom's stupid list because I've raised my own son and he turned out fine. I'm a shithead. All right, Jeffy, take them to your room while we cook dinner and show them your stuff. All right, guys, come to my room. I'm going to show you my shit. All right, guys, this is my playroom. That's my shit. Wow, you have so many toys. Our parents don't let us have toys. <laughs> Seriously, kill me. Do you guys want to see my mommy's favorite toy? Sure. sure. It's a dildo. What is a dildo? Well, she uses it to relieve stress and it smells like pickles. But I'm still confused. What is a dildo? Well, it's dough that smells like dill pickles. Here, play with it. Wow, thanks, Jeffy. <laughs> it's so squishy and slimy and ew, pickles. I want to try. I want to see what it tastes like. Okay, here, Susie. Ew, it tastes like pickles. <laughs> Wow, Jeffy, thanks for letting me and my little sister play with your mom's dildo. I can't wait to tell my parents. Yeah, it's pretty fun, isn't it? Mm -mm -mm, this looks so delicious. Ooh, I'm gonna be a fat ass tonight. Hey, Chef PP, what are you cooking for dinner? My signature double donut double cheeseburger and double donut chicken sandwich. What? Is that a McDonald's double cheeseburger in between two Krispy Kreme donuts? Yeah, but I'm the first one to think of it. Isn't that a little unhealthy? Yeah, but it's Unhealthy Wednesday. And on Unhealthy Wednesdays, we make bad decisions and eat bad food. All because my parents got a divorce on a Wednesday. You know, I'll never forget about it. <laughs> well, I'm babysitting two kids. Can you make two more of these donut double cheeseburgers? Oh, yeah, you got it. Let me get on it. Whoa, it's so stretchy. And long. All right, kids, it's time for dinner. Oh, hey, Mr. Marvin. We're having a blast playing with your wife's dildo. What? It tastes horrible, though. What, Daddy, what are they talking about? This, Daddy, it's dildo. What? Where'd you find this? I found it in Mommy's bedside table. It was right next to the big rubber dick. Well, well, Jeffy, don't play with this near the carpet. I don't want it to stain anything. All right, kids, come downstairs. It's time for dinner. All right, kids, here's your dinner. Wow, this looks really unhealthy. And here's some ice cream to dip your burgers in. Holy macaroni, that's a lot of sugar in that drink. We're not allowed to have sugar. Oh, come on, Timmy. We already broke one rule today. We played with that lady's dildo. You're right, and it smelled like pickles. Ew. What the fuck? You know what? I don't even want to know.
Come on, kids, just eat your food. Are you sure we shouldn't just munch on this romaine lettuce our mother gave us? No, you need to eat some new food. Your parents are lame and they make you eat a bunch of healthy stuff. Sometimes it's good to eat unhealthy food. Well, I guess you're right. Hey, Daddy, where's mine? Uh, you got these green beans, Jeffy. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. They get the fun food and I get these green beans. Well, you wanna know what I think about your green beans? No! Jeffy, you go to your room! Planned on it! I am so sorry about him doing that. Oh, it's all right. Our parents fight all the time. Now for me to try this food. Uh. Wow! Holy shit! Susie, you gotta try this stuff! It's like crap! I'm gonna try this monster energy drink! Do it, 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 do it! Holy shit, I did it! I'm a shitter! Me too! You wanna run around have some break stuff? Yeah! Wow! No, 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 don't run around and break stuff! Oh my god, what'd I do? Woo! Susie, look at all these plates! Let's do what Jeffy did! Downstairs. The kids are running around the house and breaking things. What? I thought they were supposed to be nice. They're supposed to be. Well, what did you do? I just fed them dinner. What did you feed them? A donut double cheeseburger and a monster energy drink. Well, you should have fed them green beans like you tried to do me, you bald, ugly douche. Marvin, where's that list they gave you? <sighs> we don't need the stupid list. It's just a bunch of dumb stuff. Marvin, right here it says don't drink soda and don't eat candy. Well, I didn't give them soda or candy. I gave them an energy drink and I gave them donuts. Marvin, that's well, look, they're already breaking like four of the rules because they've ran around the house and they've been breaking things. I'm jumping on the couch! I'm watching TV! Okay, now they've broken all the rules. What are we going to do? I don't know, Marvin. Oh, yeah, I remember. They said they left the number on the back of the paper, so I'm going to call the dad. Okay, I got my phone. It's ringing. Hey, howdy, hey. It's Hank. Hey, listen, Hank, it's an emergency. You need to come back. How's it going? It's not going good. Your kids are running around the house and they're breaking things. Fantastic. No, that's not fantastic. They're breaking every single one of your hucker rules. Is that right? Yes, come back right now. Oh, I'm just kidding. It's not really me. It's my answering machine for Hank Huckerdoo. Please leave a message after the lawnmower. I got his voicemail. Uh, Marvin, there's a kid about to jump on the back. Hey, Susie, look! I'm a chicken! Watch me fly! Oh, but chickens can't fly! This one can! Woo! Okay, I wrapped your broken leg in a paper towel because we don't have a cast. And we don't want to call a doctor because we don't want your parents knowing you broke your leg. Gee whiz, I can't believe I got that crazy over a little bit of sugar. I guess that's why it's a hucker don't. <laughs> My dad's going to kill me. Your dad's not going to kill you because he's not going to find out about this. Marvin, how are we going to hide a broken leg? Because when they get back, he's going to take the paper towel off his leg, he's going to hop over to his house, and he's going to act like he falls down the stairs, and that's how he breaks his leg. But that would be lying, and lying is a hucker don't. Well, you already broke all the other. Hucker don't, so you're gonna do one more, or I'm gonna tell your parents about all the stuff you did. Yes, sir. So, Jeffy, rumpus time is over. You're gonna take these kids to your room, and you're not gonna let them leave, okay? Yes, sir. All right, guys, we're going to my room again. And you stay in that room, and if you leave, I'm telling your parents. Oh, this is a nightmare. All right, guys, you gotta stay in my room. My daddy said so. Ooh, can I play with your cat piano? Sure, just don't break it. I'm gonna play Roblox on my computer, but first, I'm gonna watch this video. Wow, what are those two girls doing? They're naked and wrestling? Yeah, something like that. Is there a video of two guys doing that too? Is is that a thing? Can you look that up? <gasps> ah, oh! Oh, I'm so sorry, I broke your cat piano! You bitch! Oh. oh my god, you hit my sister with a baseball bat! What's wrong with you? You want some too? Daddy! Daddy, the fucker dude's gotta go! Jeffy, language! No, mommy, that little girl broke my cat piano, so I hit her in the head with a baseball bat! You did what, Jeffy? Baby, go check on her. Okay. Jeffy, why would you do that? Because she broke my shit! Oh my god, she's unconscious! Do you think she's dead? Hopefully! You murderer! Alright, everyone calm down, stop yelling. Here's the plan. When your parents get back, we're gonna put sunglasses on her, and we're gonna pretend she's still conscious, okay? Oh, like Weekend at Bernie's? Yeah, just like that. And if you don't do that, I'm gonna tell your parents that you guys broke all these rules. I still think we should tell the truth. Yeah, I agree, Marvin. They're here! You know, we're gonna do my plan! Grab some sunglasses, go! Hello! Howdy, Marvin! We're just getting back from the old Outback Steakhouse. How was it? Oh, it was delicious. The blooming onion was crispy. And guess who works there part-time as a waitress? The babysitter! 
Santa. Yeah, I gave her a big tip. For the second time today. And then I gave her some cash. Again, for the second time today. Yeah, so Marvin, how are the old kids? Uh, they're upstairs reading a book. Oh, what piece of literature? Uh, a math book. Oh, Susie does need to work on her math. Yeah, she does. But uh, we'll just grab our kids and be on our way, Marvin. Well, no, no. If you want them to stay the night for like a month, they can. Yeah, no can do. See, it's 8.01, so it's past the bedtime. And also, we still got to do our family prayer, so we'll just grab the old tater tots and be on our way. Uh, okay. So your kids are in here, but meet my wife, Rose. Oh, does your husband cheat on you too? Oh, honey, stop it. Why don't you fetch me a toothpick? I think I got some blooming onions stuck in my teeth. Why don't you have the waitress get it out with her tongue? You know, I think I might. Well, kids, it's time for you to go home, so go with your parents. Susie, why are you slouching? Oh, uh, Susie isn't slouching. She's, uh, practicing for a limbo competition. Oh, well, you know, your mother was a 10-time limbo champion. Yep, why do you think we got two kids? Your mother sure knows how to Bend it over. Tell me, what'd you do today? Oh, we had a lot of fun. We got to play with Mr. Marvin's wife's dildo. Man, was it stinky and slimy. Susie fit the whole thing in her mouth, but she spit it out because it tasted like pickles. <laughs> Come on, kids, we're getting out of here. We're going home. This house is sick, sick. What's wrong, Mother? It was just a dildo. Shut up. Get your ass home. We're going. Marvin, don't you ever speak to my family ever again. You don't understand. It wasn't a real dildo. It was like a silly putty. I don't care what type of sick thoughts you have. Just keep them away from me and my family. Hey, before you leave, your daughter has a concussion and your son has a broken leg. What? Officer Guy, get in here. Yes, sir? Guy, I was looking through your file and I found some troubling news. Oh, what's that, sir? Well, it seems you never finished the fifth grade. Oh, yeah, that. Well, you see, I grew up in Brooklyn, and then I moved away and I went to a different school, so I just went right into sixth grade instead of finishing fifth grade. Well, that's not good, Guy! We can't have a police officer that never finished fifth grade! Sir, what does it matter if I never learned all my shapes or whatever? Guy, we're gonna need you to repeat the fifth grade! What? Are you kidding me? This is ridiculous! This is like the plot of an Adam Sandler movie or something! Guy, either you go back to the fifth grade, or you turn in your badge! <sighs> okay, fine, I'll do it. Hey, Karen. Brady, you're home early from work. Yeah, the chief says I can't be a cop anymore until I finish the fifth grade. You never finished the fifth grade, Brady? No. Well, how'd you graduate high school? I don't know, Karen. I don't understand it either, okay? I just have to go for one day to show him how smart I am. Oh, boy, Penelope's not gonna like this. I'll talk to her. Penelope, get in here. What do you want, Dad? Well, Penelope, your daddy never finished fifth grade, so I'm gonna be going to school with you tomorrow. But look, it's gonna be fun. We're gonna be like best friends. We'll hold hands, and, and I'll protect you from all the bullies. This is the most embarrassing thing that ever happened to me! Huh. Well, I'm not worried. She'll love it by tomorrow. Oh my god, I can't believe you're coming to school with me. This is so embarrassing. Hey, I don't like it either, Penelope, okay? But it's only for one day. I just have to go for long enough to prove that I'm smarter than a fifth grader without having to meet Jeff Foxworthy. Just don't acknowledge me, okay? Okay, but I don't know why you're so embarrassed of me. You know, your dad was actually pretty cool when he was in school. I'll have you know I could flick my boogers farther than anyone else in the class. That's disgusting! And, and guess what? I was the first one in my friend group to get his first kiss. I mean, it was with a dude, and it was on a dare, but he was a pretty good-looking dude. You know, I pulled hose. I mean, they were guy hose, but I still felt cool. Ugh. Oh, the bus is here. Just don't talk to me and don't sit next to me. Penelope. Ugh. Penelope, I don't see why I can't sit next to you. I'm your father. Oh, you must want to say bye to your daughter. Oh, uh, no, I'm actually going to school. Is that legal? It's court ordered, actually. All right, well, then go sit out. Really? I guess anybody can get on the bus. What, Dad? I told you not to sit next to me. Well, I don't have anywhere else to sit, Penelope. I don't have any friends. Besides, this is like bonding time. No, it's not. What? Okay, who's the asshole? You want to go? What? Uh, I mean, ne never mind, young king. Uh, Wakanda forever. What, Dad? Hey, look, it's my first day, and I, I don't want any trouble, okay? Um, oh, you know what? Uh, hey, would you like my lunch money? Oh, cool. Yeah, there you go, bro, dog. <laughs> See, I'm already making friends. What are we going to eat for lunch now? We can eat when we get home. Uh, the wheel of the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. Shut up, Dad! Hey, guys, look, I got a butter. Oh, oh, yeah, well, check this out. <laughs> Dad, ew! You're lucky I don't have a booger. I'd be flicking up a storm. Dad, what are 
are you doing? But I don't have a seat, Penelope. No, you can't sit here. Go sit up there. I don't want to sit by myself. I'll get lonely. Just go. Uh, uh, hey, homeboy, can I sit with you? What? Uh, nothing. <laughs> We're all good, brother. Uh, okay. Well, this brings me back. Ooh, a pencil. But don't play with your pencil. Don't play with your pencil. Oh, but it's so cool, it's like a spaceship. Pew, 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 pew. Or, or, or it's like a lightsaber. No, 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 take that, Darth Vader. No, 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 no. All right, Cross, before we get started today, we have a new student. Would you like to come up here and introduce yourself? Oh, no, I'm a baseball player in the World Series. Bah, just hit that bitch out of the park. Home run, and the crowd goes wild. Dad, the teacher's calling you. Go up there. Hold on, Penelope, I gotta hit one more home run, and I win the World Series. Oh, uh, excuse me! The guy playing with his pencil! Stop playing with your pencil! Come up here! What if my wiener was this long? I mean, not very thick, but it's a pretty good size. Although it's too pointy. Uh, uh me? me? Uh, uh, oh, yeah, okay, hold on. Oh, so embarrassing! Alright, everyone. This is the new student. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Uh, I, I'm a Brooklyn T guy. N no cap. Facts, you know? <laughs> and I know what you're thinking. Uh, you look like you're too old to be here. Well, well, I am. Because, you see, I never graduated elementary school, so they're making me do it again. So, you know, stay in school, kids. You know, keep keep off that TikTok. Because I know you guys like TikTok, right? You, you seen that kid that does this? He's got, like, the backpack and he flosses. You guys have seen that, right? Or, or maybe you know this one. Charlie bit my finger. Ouch, Charlie. You, you, you remember that? I wonder what they're doing. Uh, anyway, I'm Penelope's dad, but uh, she doesn't want you to know that because she's, she's embarrassed, you know, because she came out my nutsack. <laughs> Shit slaps my legs when I walk. <laughs> talking talking free balling. Anyway, don't make fun of Penelope too much. She just started her period. You know, that, that's, that's when you bleed out of your gooch. I'm really glad us guys don't have to worry about that. The closest we have is when we eat too much Taco Bell and our butthole bleeds, am I right? <laughs> well, anyway, uh, I, I'm a cop. So, uh, but not right now, you know, so if anybody's got that Mary Jane, hit a brother up, you know, that, that devil's lettuce, that jazz cabbage, homeboy in the back knows what I'm talking about. All right, that's enough from you, go sit down. Oh, okay. So, Penelope, how'd I do? I hate my life! Oh, you teenage girls and your emotions, just wait till you grow up and have real problems. Hey, Penelope, I heard you just started your period. Ugh, I'm gonna die! No, you're not, it's only gonna bleed out for a few days, every month, for the rest of your life. Hey, do you wanna be friends? Oh, you're Penelope's dad, right? Yeah. I'll be your friend if you give me brownie points and smash your daughter one day. Hmm, you know, it took balls to say that to me. I like you. Hey, you want a lightsaber fight? Of course I want a lightsaber fight! Come on. <laughs> I'm Darth Vader. I'm Darth Vader. I'm Darth Vader. I'm Darth Vader. I can't believe this is my life! All right, class, we have a spelling test today. So everyone, get out a piece of paper, and I'm gonna read off random words, and you have to spell them. Oh, shoot. Hey, Penelope, can I borrow some paper? You brought a backpack to school, but no paper? Hey, there's nothing in the backpack. I just brought it because it looked cool. I got it from smlmerch.com. Link in the description. Ugh, fine. Thank you. Okay, teach, I'm ready for this spelling test. What's the first word gonna be? Cat? Dog? Something like that? The first word you gotta spell is possum. Well, that's easy. Possum. P-O-S-S-U-M. Duh. Hey, Penelope, you spell it right? Turn around, Dad. Stop looking at my paper. Wait, Penelope, what the hell are you doing? Why'd you start it with an O? That's how you spell possum. No, it's not, Penelope. Is your brain okay? It starts with an O, Dad. It's pronounced possum, not a possum. It's not a French possum, Penelope. Stupid. All right, Cross, the next word you're gonna spell is pterodactyl. This is easy. Did you spell this one right, Penelope? Yes, Dad. What, Penelope, are you having a stroke or something? Pterodactyl does not start with a P. Possum starts with a P, and pterodactyl starts with a T. The P is silent. What, why would they do that, Penelope? Why would they have a secret P? What's the secret about? You're gonna fail this test. No, you're gonna fail this test, and then I'm gonna have to ground you. You're the worst! Learn to spell! All right, Cross, the next word you're gonna spell is pneumonia. I know how to spell pneumonia. I'm a doctor. Hey, Penelope, did you get this one right? Yes, Dad. What, Jesus, Penelope, what is with you and all these P's? The P is silent. Pneumonia does not start with a P. I know this. I'm a doctor. I don't see how. It starts with an N. It starts with a P. No, it doesn't. Cross, no talking while you're taking the test or you fail. No, no, teacher, I have a question. Okay, what have you been teaching my daughter? Because she thinks possum starts with an O, pterodactyl starts with a P, and pneumonia also starts with a P. But what is this? Because that's the correct way you spell those words. But really? No, 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 no. I, I have to check this out. Hold on. Let me just Google it real quick. What, what? Oh, no shit. Huh. Well, I guess I'm wrong. Well, look, I haven't had to spell things in a long time, okay? Well, thank you for giving everyone the answers. Anyway, Crass, we'll try another spelling test tomorrow. Now what we're gonna do is a science experiment. Good going, Dad. Now I have to take another test tomorrow. Yeah, well, I, I, I knew those were the answers the whole time. No, you didn't! Y yes, I did. I was just trying to let everybody know. You know, just, just help a brother out, right? Right, dog? You know, you know what I'm talking about. Hey, why are we making him sit in the back, huh? That's that's messed up. There needs to be some changes around here. 
I, I got your back, bro. All right, Kras. For today's science experiment, I'm going to show you the chemical reaction between vinegar and baking soda. In this bottle, I have vinegar. And in this balloon, I have baking soda. When I lift the balloon up, the baking soda will drop into the vinegar, causing a chemical reaction, and the gas will inflate the balloon. Allow me to demonstrate. that with my butthole. Huh, that's pretty neat. Hey Penelope, you wanna be my partner? Nope, I'm good. We're gonna be partners. All right, Chris, now I'm gonna come around and give you the tool so you can recreate this experiment. All right, Cody, flip it, flip it, flip it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Whoa! Sploosh. Oh look, oh, look how big it's getting. Oh, that's hot. I, I am aroused. Oh boy. Okay, Jeffy, flip it. This shit's about to be crazy. <laughs> It's so crazy! <laughs> oh, this looks so cool! Come on, Penelope, flip ours! Okay. Oh, this is gonna be great. Here it goes. Let's do it. What? No, it's not. What is happening? What? Come on, man. Nothing's happening. What? What did you do wrong? I, I didn't do anything wrong. It's just, it's not working. This is dumb. Why are we even doing this? This is stupid. Why are we going through all this trouble? We could just blow it up with our mouths. We have lungs for a reason. Does That's not the point, Dad! I don't care if it's the point. This is stupid. <sighs> Teacher, this is stupid. If something went wrong with your experiment, it's because you didn't follow directions. What? Didn't follow directions? What are you talking about? She lifted up the balloon, the little shit fell in the bottle, and then nothing happened. Come on, man. All right, Kraus. The next thing we're going to do is math. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold up a math card, and whoever shouts out the correct answer first will get one Skittle. Now let's get started. Yes, something I'm finally good at. I'm good at math. Hey, Penelope, my mouth is about to be full of Skittles. All right, first question, nine minus six. Ooh, ooh, me, 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 me. Three. Correct. Catch. Oh, that's good. What the hell? I, I didn't know we could just shout it out. I thought we were raising hands. Okay, I got the next one. All right, next question, nine plus 11. George Bush. Twin Towers. Inside job. Guys, shut up. The Pentagon is the most surveillance building in the world. You're telling me it only got seven frames of a blurry object hitting it? That's not the answer to the math problem. The gas station next door got the surveillance footage taken by the FBI? 18. 20. The, the 20. That is correct, Penelope. Ah. Mm. Damn it, I wanted a Skittle. All right, the next question is nine plus 12. 21. 21. I, I said it first. No, I said it first. No, I said it first. I said it first. I said it first. Ugh. Good job, Penelope. Ah! Um, no, 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 no. I clearly said it first. Shut up, Dad! No, this teacher is discriminating against us. Me and my boy back there. Yeah, he hasn't given either one of us a skill. I think it's a skit problem. Start getting the math problems right and you'll get a skill. No, 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 no. I'm done with this. I'm about to come up there and take the whole damn bag of Skittles. I'd like to see you try. Okay, bet. I'm about to throw haymakers. Yo, dog, you gonna back me up? What? Let's get him. Come on. What's good, dog? You wanna go? Come on. I bet you won't do anything. Come on. Do something. Do something. Do something. <laughs> Right the eye. You guys see the teacher hit me? <laughs> hey Penelope, your dad's crying in front of the whole class. This is the most embarrassing day of my life. Well, guy, it looks like you found a loophole. We agreed to drop the charges on the teacher if he would pass you from the fifth grade. So congratulations, you passed the fifth grade. Yes, that's right, I'm a man, even though my eye hurts. But looking back over your file, I saw that you never graduated kindergarten either. Oh shit. No, Billy, we don't want to play your games. Leave. Oh, come on, Marvin. It's just a really quick card game. It's called Find the Ace of Sp AIDS. I don't want to play your stupid card game. I see the AIDS needle right there. No, you don't. It's right there. Oh, come on, Marvin. Just put your hand in there and grab a random card. If I grab a random card, will you leave? Oh, yeah, of course. Okay, what card should I grab? Oh, my God. He just stabbed me with the AIDS needle. You know have AIDS. Oh, my God. Call a doctor. Marvin, look the news. Breaking news. The cure for AIDS has been found. Me and two other people are the reason. Let's go to our interview now. Ah, you scared me. Hello, it's me, Mr. Goodman. I'm here with Dr. Brooklyn T. Guy and his nurse Susan Smith. Dr. Guy here found the cure for AIDS with nurse Susan using the money I donated to fund the research. We did it, guys. No more AIDS. Woohoo! Oh my god, they have a cure. I'm saved. Marvin, we have to get you to the hospital. Let's go. What? They have a cure? For AIDS! 
<laughs> no, my life is over. I'm nothing if I'm not giving random people AIDS. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna get my revenge on that doctor and the nurse and that rich guy. Wakey, wakey, sleepyhead! What, what, where the hell am I? I would like to play a game! Oh, Jesus, Billy, not you again. Oh, it's me again. So, you like curing AIDS, huh? Oh, that's what this is about? You're mad that I cured AIDS? Yeah, and since you like figuring out really hard stuff, I got a lot of really hard stuff for you to figure out. Oh, please, do tell. So... How's your day going? It's been pretty shitty. Oh, perfect! Because I'm about to make it shittier. That's great. So, you are currently strapped into an electric chair that is set to go off in two minutes! Two minutes, got it. So you see a spoon, yeah? Let's just say it's not a spoon for eating fruity pebbles! Yeah, I didn't think it would be. So you're going to take this spoon and you're going to dig out your eyeball with it because I put a key behind your eye. And once you get the key, you're going to use it to unlock this saw to cut off your right hand. And once your right hand is cut clean off, I personally will give you the code to turn off the circuit breaker to turn off the electric chair. Ready, set, go. No, 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 you stop that timer. I have questions, okay? What questions do you have? Okay, well, like, why do I have to do all this stuff? I mean, I feel like a normal person would only have one of these tasks. I feel like you had a lot of ideas, so you just did all of them. Because you pissed me off. Okay, but, like, I have only two minutes to, like, scoop my eye out with this spoon. I I'm gonna need at least five to work up the courage. Well, you only have a minute and 40 seconds now. No, 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 you're gonna stop that goddamn timer because you need to explain some things. <sighs> Fine. What do I need to explain? Okay, well, like, you didn't even tell me what I am supposed to scoop out. Okay, that's for you to figure out. No, 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 this is bullshit. You need to explain this. Okay, I guess I'll give you a hint then. Let's just say, I hope you pick the right one. Okay, my right eye, got it. Wait, 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 hold on. My right or your right? Right. Wait, no, no, you need to give me something more to go on than that. Okay, let's just say, lefty Lucy. Righty tighty. What the fuck does that mean? That doesn't help at all. That's more confusing. I wish you hadn't even said that. Enough questions. Go. What? No, but like what? Okay, okay, fine. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna go my right then because you're a trickster and you like jokes and that's the one you would pick. I don't know. Oh, Jesus, just shut up and let me do this. Oh God, it's gonna hurt. <laughs> Okay, I got the eye out, but I don't feel a fucking key, Billy! Where's the key, Billy? Well, I guess you didn't pick the right one. Oh, God damn it! I knew you were gonna pull something like this! So you tricked me with the Lefty Lucy thing! I thought you meant my left eye was loose and you're right! Well, I told you like three times it was your right eye! God damn it! Okay, okay, I'll do the other one. Just give me a minute, okay? I need a minute. Are you sure you want to take a minute? You're running out of time! Okay, okay, I'll do it, I'll do it! God damn it! Just... <laughs> Okay, I got the key out, but my eyes are all dangling and I look like a snail. Well, I really hope you're not as slow as a snail, because you only have one minute and four seconds left. Okay, okay, I'm gonna unlock it. I just... I can't see with my eyes like this. Oh, let me help you, buddy. Oh, thank you. That's very nice of you. Oh, you're welcome, buddy. Ooh, okay. Okay, guy, here we go. Okay, all you gotta do is cut your hand off and you're free. You're doing a great job. Hey, how much time do I have left? 46 seconds. Okay, could you, could you give me another minute? This is gonna hurt really bad. No! I gave you a hand earlier when I helped you with the lock. Now it's your turn to give me your hand. Okay, okay, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, okay, I cut my hand off, Billy. What's the code? The code is zero. Zero. Hurry up. Zero. Like what the timer would be at if you didn't make it. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Okay, zero, zero. I can't see with my eyes like this. You said it was three zeros. Yeah, it was three zeros. Okay, zero, zero, zero. Okay. Uh, okay, I did it. Oh, man. You turned it off with one second left. Wait, why did I even have to turn it off? I could have just gotten up. Oops. Oh, by the way, the saw that you cut your right hand off with was covered in AIDS. So you now have AIDS. <laughs>
Okay, well, we cured AIDS, so that's not really a problem, but I guess I'll go put my eyes back in. Oh, man, baby. I'm so glad they were able to cure my AIDS. Yeah, I'm glad you're okay, Marvin. Hey, guys, you're never gonna believe where I just got back from. Brazil? No, not Brazil. Greece? Okay, you can stop guessing. Where'd you get back from? Well, you remember that creepy little clown from Saw Billy? Oh, yeah, we saw him earlier. <laughs> Yeah, well, I saw him, too, when he strapped me up in this contraption and I had to cut my hand off to get free. Wait, you had to cut your hand off? Oh, my God! Yeah, oh, my God is right. I mean, luckily, I put it on ice, so I was able to reattach it, but look, it has no feeling at all anymore. And the worst part is I had to scoop both of my eyeballs out with a spoon. Wh why would you have to do that? He's really pissed off that I cured AIDS. Oh, well, I mean, at least you escaped, so that means he won't go after you again. Yeah, let's hope. I am kind of worried about my nurse, though. I don't think he'll go after her. I think he's only mad at you. Yeah. Yeah, you're probably right. Hello? Hello? Is anybody there? Someone help me! No one can hear you. Who are you? The name's Billy, and I would like to play a game. What game? You are currently chained to a wall with a bear trap behind your head. A bear trap? Now, now, now. I wouldn't move around too much. You might set off the bear trap. What do you want me to do? Oh, you like helping doctors cure AIDS. Well, I would like a little bit of help. You see, I have this sandwich that I wasn't able to finish earlier. I was wondering, will you help me finish the sandwich? Okay. Did I forget to mention that the sandwich is made from human meat? I can't eat that. I'm a vegetarian. Well, you better eat it in the next 60 seconds or else the bear trap will close on your head, exposing your brain. Ready, set, go. Okay, I'll try. Uh, oh, I can't do it. It's too disgusting. Oh, come on. The clock's ticking. Yummy, yummy. Oh, oh, you know what? How about I help you? Here, here, look. Here comes the airplane. Wait, wait. Can I, can I get some salt and pepper to mask the taste? Oh, let me check. Oh, I only have pepper. That's fine. Put it on. Okay. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, man, that is messed up. You sneezed on my sandwich! Man, now I gotta throw it away! What a waste! Oh, come on, answer! Answer! Mm, Susan's not answering her phone. I'm starting to get worried. I'm gonna go back to where Billy had me tied up and see if she's there. <gasps> what the fuck? Charles, help! I slept with a kinky bitch again and she left me tied up! Hey there! Oh my god, Charles, she's hideous! She's a drunk too! She wears too much makeup and too much eyeliner! She's got a parrot nose! She's one of those emo bitches! You know the words you say could really hurt! Listen, I'm sorry, but if I slept with you, I must have been drunk as fuck. Oh my god, we didn't have sex! Oh, thank god. Listen, I wanna play a game! Okay, listen, I'll only let you suck it if you put a bag on your head and you shut up. Listen, I said I wanna play a game! Since you like to fund the cure for AIDS so much, I want you to take this blowtorch and burn all your money. And if you do, I'll let you go. But if you don't, I'll cut your balls off with this machete. Cut them off. What? Yeah, I'll never hurt money. Go ahead and cut off my balls. Well, are you serious? Because I, I will literally let you go if you just burn this money. No, cut off my balls. If we had sex, then I definitely don't want balls on me anymore because I don't want the chlamydia to go any further. You know what? Screw this! <laughs> Well, as long as the money is safe. You know what? New game! You're gonna take this saw and cut off your legs. And if you don't do it within 60 seconds, the room will fill up with poison gas. And you'll die. <laughs> Charles! Help! She's a crazy bitch! I think I'm in love! What the? <gasps> Susan? Susan, does he have you trapped in here? What? What smells like poison gas? Oh, it's probably this poison gas machine. I should turn that off. Yeah, it's much better. Susan? <gasps> oh my god, Susan! She's fucked! Save me! Okay, okay! <sighs> Hey guys, I'm back. <gasps> Did you find your nurse? Yeah, I found her, but her head was crushed in a bear trap. Oh my god! Yeah, and he cut Goodman's balls off. Which is good news for me, Marvin, because now I can't get hookers pregnant. Uh, you have to go catch Billy and arrest him! Well, that's the problem, Marvin. He's hard to catch. He's like a weasel. They made ten movies. I don't think he's stopping anytime soon. So all I can really say is, hide your kids, hide your wife, and hide your husband, because he's killing everybody out here.
Thank you, baby. Hey, Marvin. Thanks for inviting me over to watch the bowl. You know, I hate watching it at my house. My wife just asks too many questions. Like, what does the yellow line mean? And why are there Foot Locker employees on the field? And why did they get six points if they only scored once? And why is it called football if they play with their hands? I don't know, Karen. Shut up. I ask those questions, too. Marvin, can we go to a bar? No, I want to watch the game on my couch at home. Okay, fine. I hate both teams anyway. I mean, the Kansas City Chiefs? I mean, come on. They should be canceled and have to change their name. That's offensive to Indians. And the San Francisco 49ers is offensive to people who aren't 49. Unless it's like 49ers, like 49-year-olds. Hey, Marvin, how many 9-year-olds do you think you could beat up in a fight? What? Yeah, like if you got attacked by a bunch of 9-year-olds, or, or maybe if they all stood in like a single-file line and came up one at a time so you had to fight them. Why would they do that? I think I could beat up 10. I think I could do 15. Marvin, do we have any other snacks? I thought we could grill hot dogs. Oh, speaking of hot dogs, you guys see Drake's penis? Wait, what? Oh yeah, it's massive. It's like a snake. He was just wiggling it around. I think he was trying to get control of it, honestly. I'm glad mine's not that big. Mine's nice and compact and simple. It's fun-sized. Yeah, I'm actually over here because my wife and I got in a huge argument when she saw Drake's penis. She was like, why can't your penis be as big as Drake's? And I'm like, I'm sorry, Karen, it's not my fault that some men just have everything. He's got a big penis. He can rap. He's got a big penis. He can sing. He's got a big penis. He's rich. Did I mention how big his penis is? I was hoping it would be small because then at least things would even out somewhere. But no, he just has to have a big penis and have everything. It's not fair. Baby, what team are you going for? Uh, Taylor Swift's team. She doesn't have a team. She's just banging one of the players. Okay, everyone just calm down. Oh, look, the Super Bowl commercials are starting. Ooh, goody. Oh my god, doctor, how's my son? Is he okay? Your son? My son, you were just operating on him. Oh, him, yeah, he's dead. What? Yeah, he died. Oh my god. Oh my god, you couldn't save him? He got hit by a bus. It dragged him like five blocks. What do you think was going to happen? There wasn't anything you could do to save my son. You seem really upset, so I'm gonna give you this prescription for some uh, antidepressants. Thank you, Doctor! Mm -hmm. Doritos? Doritos. It'll make you forget about your dead son. Oh my god. Man, that sure is a bangable doctor. I bet he has a penis like Drake's. I'd bang that doctor. Marvin, you'd bang that doctor? Rose, bang the doctor? Bangable doctor? I think he's a pretty bangable doctor. Oh look, another commercial starting. Oh, this one's my commercial. Wait, you have a Super Bowl commercial? Yeah, watch. <sighs> what a clear September day. And here I am, stuck in the stupid plane. God, I hate flying. Sometimes I just want to crash this plane right into a building. No, 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 no. You know what? I'm just gonna eat a Snickers. Mmm, that's good. Yeah, that's much better. Now I don't feel like crashing a plane into a building. Eh? So what do you guys think, huh? You know, that's actually based on a true story. Yep, September 10th. And then imagine my surprise the next day when I saw what happened. God, if only they had a Snickers, right? See, now they're required to keep Snickers on the plane in case that happens. The air marshal has one. Um, how did you get Snickers to approve that commercial? Oh, it wasn't easy. It took me 22 years, and they kept saying, nope, nope, it's too early, it's too early. And then now, this year, since it's been 22 years, and Taylor Swift has a song called 22, they said, now's the year. Air that shit. Mm -hmm. You're not afraid Snickers is going to get canceled? No, no, I mean, it's not like people are going to stop eating Snickers. <laughs> Snickers. Oh, look, there's another commercial coming on. Tyrone, our relationship's getting stale. I want something double-stuffed, full of cream. Yeah, you right, baby. That's why I invited my homeboy over, Super Mega D. And I thought you could be the cream in the middle of this situation. <laughs> oh, well, I was thinking more like double-stuffed Oreos, milk's favorite cookie. We can eat them later. You about to get double-stuffed right now, baby. Okay. <laughs> yeah, come on, Super D, get it back. <laughs> I suddenly want Oreos right now. Do you think they have triple stuffed? <laughs> okay, Marvin, cheer up. Look at this Skittles commercial. Get in there, boy! Please let me out. No, you gotta meet your new cellmate, Rainbow. Rainbow? <laughs> What's up, cutie? Come over here and taste Rainbow. Ugh. Oh, God. Get on your knees, boy! Taste that Rainbow. Taste. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 why would he spit the Skittles out? What a quitter. Marvin, 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 Marvin. C can, can you go check your mail real quick? It's Sunday. The mail doesn't come on Sunday. I, I think I think they delivered mail today. Can you go check? I, I don't think their mail is here. You know what? Never mind. Never mind. You're my buddy. I, I wouldn't do that. 
Oh look, a Jimmy Butler commercial. Oh, it's not even about basketball. Hi, I'm two-time NBA Finals loser and zero-time NBA champion, Jimmy Butler. When I'm not out on the court losing, I'm at home making coffee, which is my real passion. Now I know I've made over $200 million playing basketball, but now I want to make $200 million making coffee. So if you gave me the choice between winning six championships and having one cup of big face coffee, you know I'm taking that coffee. And if I had the choice between 10 championships and one BBC, I'm taking that BBC. That's big black coffee. So please buy my coffee so I can stop playing basketball. Damn it, Jimmy, focus on playing fucking basketball. Nobody wants any of your shitty coffee. Ooh, look, another commercial. What the hell was that? Captain, Captain, we hit an iceberg. The ship's going down. We're taking in water. How much water's coming in? It's gushing in, Captain. It's a heavy flow. We'll take these tampons and stuff them in there. Great idea, Captain. Captain, Captain, it worked! The ship is safe! I told you, tampons can solve any flow. Whoa, I need to get that brand. Hey Marvin, you think they really could have stopped the Titanic from sinking using tampons? No. Liars! At least my 9-11 commercial was true! Oh guys, look, a Burger King commercial. Wapu 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 McDonald's is clearly better. There's no way anyone would eat this shit. At D I C K, your boo tastes like dick. Hey, everybody, it's me, Ronald McDonald, and there's no way in shit that you thought Burger King could afford a Super Bowl commercial. This shit costs seven million dollars every thirty seconds, and I bought two minutes. That's twenty-eight million dollars. Burger King hasn't made that in its whole career. I make that shit every second. Let's try it, Wop. Let's let's see. Let's give it a chance. <laughs> what is this shit? I gotta get this this taste out of my mouth. Oh, look at that double quarter pounder with cheese and shit. Come here, come here. Get close. I said get closer. Look at that. Look at all that meat. All that cheese, it's about to make me act up. Oh, look at you. Oh, let me just. Mm. It doesn't even make you want to chew. You just want to swallow that shit. Mm. What? What's that? You called your brother? Hold on. Hold on. Let me. Oh, hey there, Big Mac. Oh, look at you. Oh, look at you, Big Mac. Oh, you look so delicious with extra meat and extra bun. Oh, you guys gotta try this shit. Go to McDonald's, buy my shit. We put crack in it, and it's good. McDonald's now. Do you think Drake eats McDonald's? Aww, now all I can think about is big floppy wiener just flopping around all over the place. Someone's at the door. Oh, if it's Drake, tell him to go away. Nobody wants to see it. Except for maybe my wife. Hello? Hey there. Tom Brady! Let me in, quick. We don't have a lot of time. O okay. Who's at the door, Marvin? Tom Brady. Tom Brady, that's right. What are you doing here, Tom Brady? Well, that stupid Patrick Mahomes is back at the Super Bowl. I thought I sent his ass home crying three years ago when my Buccaneers bent him over. You did? Well, yeah, but now he's back at the Super Bowl. And if he wins this one, he's going to have three rings. So? Yeah, you have seven. Well, I don't want him catching up up to me, so if he loses this one, he'll be two for two and he'll never catch up. Yeah, it would be really hard for him to catch up if he loses this one. Exactly, so what I need you two to do is rig this game and make sure he loses. How can we rig the Super Bowl? I have a couple ideas. Oh, everybody shut up, my Super Bowl commercial's on. Uh, 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 I'm retiring, it's over for me. Uh, Mr. Brady! Mr. Brady! Uh, what do you want, kid? I just wanted to let you know, you're the greatest of all time. Yeah, kid, whatever. Uh. Mr. Brady, would you like my Coca-Cola? Well, you, you really mean it? Yeah, you can have it. Here, take it. Gee, thanks, kid. You know, you remind me a lot of my son. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Get it, Tom. More tongue. You know, I did that last take 58 times. We got it right on the first try. I just wanted to do 57 more. That was just a random kid. Rig that Super Bowl, damn it!
So how are we gonna rig the Super Bowl? I have an idea, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back, and I got Patrick Mahomes' jersey. How'd you get his jersey? Well, I dressed up like a Kansas City Chiefs player and I snuck into the locker room and stole it. Wait, you went all the way to Las Vegas and back? Yeah, and I gotta hurry if I wanna get back there before the game starts. Well, the national anthem's starting right now. Oh, shit. Singing the national anthem. Ping and pong. Thank you so much for having us here today to sing at the Super Bowl. Ping. We gotta hurry. I bet the national anthem would go for at least two minutes. You can bet on the national anthem? Oh yeah, you can bet on anything. Like I bet Taylor Swift would break up with Travis Kelsey if they lost. No! She only wants to date a winner. So how can we make the jersey bad? Well, the same as last time. We just take this skunk and we spray it on the jersey. So now the jersey's gonna be so stinky, Patrick Mahomes won't be able to focus on the game. That and his dad got his third DUI, so I'm sure that's on his mind. But if he smells so bad, won't the other players not want to tackle him? Maybe, but this is all we can do for right now. Ooh! You could tie his shoelaces together. I will try that if I can get close enough. You know what you should do? You should pose as one of the receivers so when Patrick Mahomes throws you the ball, you can drop it on purpose. Oh, they already have Kadarius Tony. They don't need me for that. All right, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. And that was close, too, because as soon as I got in the locker room, I saw Patrick Mahomes, and he was like, Where's my jersey, man? Hey, Travis, where's my jersey? Coach Reed, do you know where my jersey is? Hey, Travis, can you ask Taylor where my jersey is, please? My jersey, man, my jersey. So I gave it to him, and then he was like, Thanks for my jersey. He sounds like Kermit the Frog. Oh, well, at least you didn't get caught. Yeah. Let's watch this game. So, score predictions, anyone? Ooh, ooh, Taylor Swift's team, 22, and the other team, 2. So you think the final score is going to be 22 to 2. Uh-huh. So one team is going to get a safety, and that's it. And then the other team is going to score three touchdowns and go for two for no fucking reason. What's a safety? Can we please go to a bar? No, guys, the game is starting. We got to watch. Everyone be quiet. Yay, Taylor Swift's team won. Oh, no, the Chiefs won. You think Brady's mad? God damn it, boys. What the hell was that? I told you to rig that game. We tried to. We sprayed Patrick Mahomes' jersey with a skunk. Yeah, and I got his dad arrested for a DUI last week. How did you do that? Well, I bought him a bunch of drinks, and I handed him his car keys and told him to drive home as fast as he could, and then I called the cops on him. But that still wasn't enough. Now he's 3-1 and one in Super Bowls. Damn it, I'm just so dang mad. Where's my son? I need to give him angry kisses. Mm, get over here. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, that's the house we're gonna rob, okay? So you just go in there and you steal anything you can find that's valuable. I'm talking cash, jewelry, savings bonds, box tops, coupons, those little collectible half dollars, those go-gurts that give you a chance to win the Sweet Life on Deck cruise because I want to meet Zach and Cody. Anything you can find that's valuable. Listen, Freddy, I don't know if I can do this. What if I get caught? I, I can't go back to jail again. I just can't. Can you do it? Ugh, look, I'm not the one who's already dressed like Santa Claus. Well, I told you the gas station we could switch. That suit's not gonna fit me. You weigh like 200 pounds. You know that hurts my feelings. Oh, Jesus, Lenny. Okay, look, if you go in there and somebody sees you, they're not gonna know it's you. They're just gonna think it's Santa Claus. You know what? You're right. I need to stop being such a pussy. Let's do this shit. Yeah, Let's yeah. Go. <sighs> Come on! Come on! Come on! Now come on, where's the cash? Where's the food? Come on! Come on, where's the savings bond? They ain't got shit in here! Well, I can at least check for the gopets! Come on! Where's the sweet life on deck with Zack and Cody? Oh, Shanna Thorne! Oh, shit! How am I gonna get out of this one? Uh, hey there, little boy! Have you been good this year? Well, sometimes I say shit. Well, that's okay! You're still gonna get a ton of presents. Okay, but what are you doing here, Santa? It's not Christmas yet. Uh, Santa was here to fix your refrigerator. It's not working. You fix refrigerators? Yeah! How do you think we get all the money to make all the presents at the North Pole? Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, so, uh... Do you know where your parents keep all their special things? Well, my daddy says I'm special. Well, Jeffy, who are you talking to? I'm talking to Santa Claus, the refrigerator repairman. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! That's not Santa Claus. Shit! Oh. No, I like it! All right, bye, Santa! Daddy, 
You okay? Come on, unlock the door! Oh, try! Try, 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 try! Did you get any good stuff? No! I got caught to play to drive! Oh, God damn it! Oh. Uh. oh my god, Marvin, what happened to you? Santa Claus hit him in the face with a hammer. Why wasn't Santa in the North Pole? Because he was downstairs fixing the refrigerator. Marvin, what happened? Santa Claus hit me in the face with a hammer. Someone called the cops. Well, good news, Daddy. I already called him. <laughs> Maybe that's them. Hello? Hey there, you call the cops? Yes, yeah, Santa Claus hit me in the face with a hammer. Oh, that sucks. You got a package at your door? Can I come in and open it? I feel like there's more important things in my package at the door. Yeah, but I gotta come in anyway for your police report. Come on, can I bring it in and open it, please? I really like to see people's packages. I'm nosy. <sighs> okay, bring it in. Yay! Oh, I can't wait to open this. I don't remember ordering a package. Well, I can tell you who it's from. It's from today's sponsor, Displate. Collect your passions at Displate.com. What's a disc plate? Oh, Marvin, what's a disc plate? Disc is a disc plate. Now, every disc plate comes packaged in this brand new material called cardboard, and it's light yet durable. Here, I'll show you how to open it. See, look at that, that easy. No ripping, no tearing, no cussing, no fussing. And look at that, Spider-Man. So it's a poster? Oh, Marvin, disc plates are unique metal posters you can mount on your wall in just 20 seconds with no power tool since it's all magnetic. So you don't need to get a nail and nail it to the wall? No, nails are a thing of the past. What do you even use nails for, building houses? No, I'll show you how to hang this bad boy up. All right, Marvin, let me show you how easy this is. Let me get my instructions. All right, now the first thing you're gonna wanna do is clean your wall, because I'm assuming most people have dirty walls. So luckily, they give you this handy little cleaning wipe that you can just wipe the wall down so your magnet sticks better. Now, the problem is I have little puppet hands, they don't work. So luckily, I have Anthony here to help me out. Anthony, I just open that for him. Mm -hmm. Show him how it's done. You take the wipe out, see that? See that wipe? Now you wipe the wall down so it's nice and clean so that the magnet sticks good. Now, see, that's a, that's a clean wall right there. Now we just gotta wait 10 minutes for that to dry. Well, this, this wall's clean right here. Oh, well, why didn't you tell me? Oh, that's great. Okay, so now we can move on to step two. See, we got the protective leaf. It even tells you where to put the magnet. Anthony, you wanna stick that on the wall there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah see, see what he's doing? You, you rip that off, you stick it on the wall, uh huh, and then you tear the backing off, you work out those air bubbles. I don't want any air bubbles. Perfect, perfect, it looks great. See, and now, you know where to put your magnet. So you get your magnet here, and you just peel that blue part off, peel it, show them how to peel it. Great, and you stick that right where it tells you to. Yep, yep, see, the sticky part, right on there. Yep, see, it's perfect. Now we get to do my favorite part, tearing off the plastic. Ooh, that's good, oh, that is good. Oh, so satisfying. Oh, it's nice, yep, yep, take that off, Spider-Man. Now, you can hang Spider-Man. Look at that, you got Spider-Man right there on your wall. And what's that, you don't want Spider-Man on your wall? Well guess what, you can just swap it out with another one. Let me show you. They also have Shrek, move. Anthony, take down Spider-Man. I wanna put Shrek there. Look at that, now you have Shrek on your wall. Ooh, donkey! See how easy it was to swap those out? And look at this, look at those bended edges. See how bended those edges are? See, that's so there's no white on the outside. The poster is perfect, it just pops right out of the wall. That's so cool, so you have Shrek and Spider-Man? Oh, they get all kinds of stuff. They get movies, gaming, comics, nature, music, history, automotive, and so much more. Where are these bad boys manufactured? Very astute question, Marvin. Disc plates are manufactured in Europe and will reach you within four to five days. Yeah, you can find our very special recommendations using the link in the description. They're all Shrek. Displate is a good alternative to standard paper impressions or canvas printing. It's even cheaper using the special Christmas discount available through our link or promo code shown below. Buying one to two plates is 22% off and three or more are 33% off. This is the last call to get a displate ordered and delivered before Christmas. Okay, awesome. Wait, Marvin, why is your face like that? Oh, well, let's go to the couch and talk about it. Okay. All right, now tell me exactly what happened. So some guy who looks like Santa Claus broke into my house and hit me in the face with a hammer. Why would he hit you with a hammer? I don't know, he just did. Well, people don't just break into people's houses and hit them with hammers for no reason. You must have done something. Did you piss him off? I don't even know who he is. Well, you said he was Santa. I said he looks like Santa. Okay, so a guy who looks like Santa hit you with a hammer. Yes. Okay, well, I will go look for Santa. 
Okay, Simmons, we're looking for Santa Claus. Oh, I know where Santa Claus is. Where? The North Pole. No, Simmons, he has to be around here somewhere because he just broke into a house. Well, he does that every year. He delivers presents. No, 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 I mean, he broke into a house and he hit somebody with a hammer. Well, that doesn't sound like Santa Claus behavior. Well, look, all I know is it's a guy who looks like Santa Claus. Well, why don't you just say that? Well, look, Simmons, just be on the lookout for, like, a sleigh or reindeer or... What? Oh, shit, I, I think that's him. Come on. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle... Oh, shit! Am I getting pulled over? Damn it! All right, Simmons, he pulled over. Let's go see if this is our guy. All right. Excuse me, sir. You look like Santa Claus. Well, I am. Yeah, sure you are, buddy. Well, we got a report that somebody who looked like Santa broke into a house and hit a guy with a hammer. Well, I was at this girl's house, and I hit her with my hammer. <laughs> oh, damn. Up top, Santa. Nice. Yeah, I bet you're hung. Like a stocking. <laughs> oh, good one. Good one. Balls yeah. as big as ornaments. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. She choked on my eggnog. Ew. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I think I get it. You had intercourse. Okay, so where are you off to tonight? A strip club. Oh, okay. You horny old bastard. I think I'm going to need you to step out of the vehicle. But I'm the real Santa! Well, if you're the real Santa, where's your sleigh and all your reindeer? Well, Rudolph, he's got balls big as shit, and he's getting neutered right now. Too much drag on the sleigh. Okay, I think you're under arrest. Now stay in there! I didn't do anything! I'm innocent! I'm the real Santa! Oh yeah? If you're the real Santa, then what did I ask for for Christmas when I was six years old? A Care Bear? How'd you know that? No, no, don't tell anybody that. That's embarrassing. Okay, you know what? You might be the real Santa, but you still hit someone in the face with a hammer. I didn't do it! Cram it, Kringle. We'll let the judge decide. Ayo, Fickles! <laughs> Who, me? Yeah, bring them jingle balls over here. Huh, it's gonna be a black Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> you better bend over. Santa Claus is getting ready to come down your chimney. What? Help! Help! God! Please! Help! 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 Come on, Bubbles. Let's get you out of here. Get me away from him! Taking you to solitary. Please! What did I do? Guard! What do you want, Santa? I'm taking this shit and I don't have any toilet paper! Oh, well it's time for you to go see the judge, so just pull him up and let it crust. Okay, it won't be the first time. I don't have time to wipe for my delivering Christmas presents. I did not need to know that, Santa. Come on. Order, 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 order. I am the Honorable Judge Pooh and today we will be hearing the case of Santa Claus, who is being accused of breaking into Marvin's house and hitting him with a hammer. Santa Claus, you are being charged with breaking and entering, assault with a deadly weapon, and giving me a lump of coal when I was 13. How do you plead? Not guilty. Well, I know you're guilty, so Marvin, tell me what happened. So I heard my son Jeffy talking to someone downstairs, so I went to go see what was going on, and he was talking to Santa Claus, and then Santa Claus hit me in the face with a hammer. Damn! Looks like Santa's on the naughty list. I didn't do it. That wasn't me. Okay, Santa. Well, if that wasn't you, then what were you doing tonight? What is your alibi? I was driving to the strip club. The what? Speak up. The strip club to get some ho-ho-hos. The strip club? I have heard enough. You are clearly trying to break into Marvin's house to steal money to throw on strippers, and you got caught, so you hit him with a hammer. Santa Claus, I find you guilty of everything, and I sentence you to six months in prison. Six months? Christmas is in a week and a half! Who's gonna deliver the presents? Well, you should have thought of that before you went on your crime spree. Bailiff, take him away. Come on, get in your cell. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Get in there. You know you don't have to come babysit me. I know what I'm doing. I've robbed the house before. Well, you didn't steal anything from the last house. I was scared. Just open the damn door. Yeah, I fuck. All right, be very quiet. Just hurry up and grab anything valuable. Go trophies! Oh, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's touching my trophies. What? I can sense it when someone's touching my trophies. Okay, I think that's all of them. Hey, what the fuck you doing? Give me back my trophies. No, run, Sam. Hey, get back here. Where are you going? Police, help. I gave him a parking ticket for parking too close to the curb. <laughs> I can't believe we just robbed that house. Yeah, we robbed them for everything they got. This totally makes up for me hitting the guy with my hammer earlier. <laughs> Did you say you just robbed that house? Oh shit, is that the cops? Uh, all right, you're coming with me. Oh, nuts! Order, 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 order. So it turns out we arrested the wrong Santa earlier today. This 
fake Santa is the one who's been going around breaking into people's houses and hitting them with hammers. And it also turns out that his elf accomplice is my evil twin brother does bad things, Pooby. Come on, brother, go easy on me. We're family. Remember when we were kids and you broke mom's vase and blamed it on me? Well, this is payback for that. I sentence both of you to six months in prison and release the real Santa. I told you I didn't want to go back to ginger jail. You mink and poop. Why are you order? Good news, Santa. We found the real fake Santa that did the crime. I didn't do shit. Kringle, is that you, brother? But you guys know each other? Yes, that's my evil twin brother, Kringle. He was always mother's favorite. Oh, well, you can come out, Santa. Get in there, Kringle. Hey, you, you think you could build me up? Ho, 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 ho. No. This sandwich looks delicious! Ooh, I can't wait to take the first bite. Oh man, mm, and it smells like my ex. Ooh, I should call her. I love this nostalgia. Ooh, wait, wait, my fish sandwich is missing something. What is it missing? Oh yeah, spices! <laughs> Duh. Uh, what do we got, chili powder? Uh, no. Italian seasoning? No. Jeffy, get back with my sandwich! Help me find my son, Nemo. Ah, Jeffy, where'd you get that fish? I oh, found it. No, he didn't. He stole it. Now give it back, Jeffy. No, he's gonna find his son. No, he's gonna find my mouth because I'm hungry. Give it back. No. Jeffy, that's not even a clownfish. Well, maybe he lost his job. No one's hiring clowns in this economy. Give me my fish back. I'm hungry, Jeffy. No. Give it back. No, no, give no, it no. back. Oh, there's someone at the door. Hold on. Give him his fish back, Jeffy. Give me my damn fish! Hello? Hey there. We were just going door to door selling us sexy policeman calendars, but then we heard screaming, so now we're here for business, not pleasure. Oh, no. My son was just screaming about a fish. Yeah? Finding Nemo can be pretty scary. Oh, it's a dead fish. Oh, I think maybe we should come in and look around. No, no, no. What's these calendars about? Oh, you like them? Yeah, I made them myself. We actually photoshopped our heads onto stock photos of sexy men. That's not actually my body. I wish it was, but I like cheesecake too much, but it goes straight to my hips. I have to write you a ticket for being too sexy. Yeah, I came up with that. Read mine. Freeze. I need to do a strip search. Oh, that's really clever. You want to buy one? How much is it? $54. $54 for a calendar? Yeah, I mean, people are trying to, like, defund the police, so this is how we're trying to fund it. I mean, we will sign it for you. Oh, well, what's your autograph worth? What? Okay, dick. Uh, you're Marvin. I'm Brooklyn guy, okay? Do you know who I am? I'm in every video. You guys would crumble without me. If I'm not here, nothing happens. Chef Pee Pee's girlfriend, everybody hated that. So I think my autograph is worth quite a bit. So now, we're gonna come in and see what all the screaming's about. Ugh. Who's at the door, Marvin? It was the police. Whoop, whoop! That's the sound of the us. We heard screaming, and unless there's ice cream in here for us all to scream for, that's pretty suspicious. I told you my son was screaming about a fish. I see no son, and I see no fish. Well, he left with it. Mm -mm. No, I'm not buying it. Simmons, something in here smells pretty fishy. Because there was a fish on the couch a minute ago. No, this is what I think happened. I think you and your wife murdered someone, and that was the scream we heard, and then you hid the body, and you didn't want to buy a calendar because you didn't want us to get your DNA off the money to compare to the murder victim. No, I didn't buy your stupid calendar because it sucks. <laughs> oh, look what you did. You made Simmons cry. It's not my fault I don't have abs like that. Marvin, you owe me a new fish because Jeffy put his dirty fingers all over it. Huh, I guess you were telling the truth. I told you I told the truth. Jeez, okay, you don't have to snap at me. Simmons, if he was a turtle, he'd be a snapping turtle. Go on, mate. I wouldn't be a snapping turtle, I'd be a regular turtle. Marvin, you seem so stressed out. You need a boys' night out. Did somebody say boys' night out? Did somebody say Applebee's and Casino and Strip Club? I said boys' night out, but I didn't say strip club. Well, wait, wait, wait. I heard Applebee's. I love me some damn Applebee's now. Yeah, you guys want to go to Applebee's and a casino and also a strip club? No strip club! Okay, fine. Come on, let's go to Applebee's. Uh, Applebee's! Uh, I kind of just want to stay inside tonight. Jesus, what? Marvin, don't be such a puss. Let's go to Applebee's. Yeah, come on, the bees. Okay, baby, I'll be back. Bye. 
Oh man, Marvin, you know what I love so much about Applebee's? The culture. One meal, you're in Greece. Another meal, you're in Italy. The next meal, you're in Asia? Like chicken wonton tacos? That's Asia in Mexico! Nigga, choose a country! Yeah, exactly. I feel like I need a passport to eat here. I feel like I'm eating in an airport. Bro, Applebee's is the eighth wonder of the world. So what do you recommend here? What do I recommend? Marvin, it's Applebee's. Look at the menu. I recommend all of it. Everything here is cooked fresh in the microwave. Uh, my, where's the blooming onion? <sighs> Simmons, that's Outback, the Australian app. Applebee's. Oh, okay. Let's see if the chef has added anything new to the menu. Ooh, I've never seen this before. Chicken tenders platter. I can't decide between that or the Bourbon Street chicken and shrimp. And hello, what's this? Mountain Dew Dark Berry Bash. Don't mind if I do. It's like somebody nutted right in my mouth. I don't know why you would want salty nut in your mouth. There's pretzels on the menu. Yes, there are. Hi, thank you for coming to Applebee's. No, thank you for being Applebee's. My name's Clarissa. I'll be your server tonight. Can I start you off with a round of drinks? Yeah, let me get a sip of you, your tall glass of water looking ass. I'm parched. Uh, sir, how about I start with you? Oh, I'll have a Captain Bahama Mama. Oh, I'm so sorry. We're out of those. Well, of course you are. I mean, Applebee's is so busy. I can't believe you guys could keep it in stock. Okay, so uh, I'll have a Coke instead. Is Pepsi okay? Oh, fuck. No. No, it is not. Okay, you know what? I'll just have a water. You know, a round of waters for the whole table. See, that's the one downside of Applebee's. All they have is Pepsi products. Ugh. Okay, I'll be right back with those. You know, I actually think we're ready to order. Oh, go ahead. Now, what comes on the kids' cheese pizza? Cheese. Okay, but what kind of cheese? Are we talking Manchego, Munster, Gouda? Because I know the chef likes to have a cheese of the week. Whatever's imported. Oh, no, he doesn't. It's mozzarella. Ooh, fancy. And how is that prepared? Is that thin crust or stuffed crust? It's microwaved. <laughs> Ooh, I'll have that. Oh, I'm so sorry, sir. You can't. It's 12 or under. What? You have to be 12 years old or under to order off the kids' menu. Oh, well in that case, my son is coming later and he wants the kids' cheese pizza. Oh, okay, then what would you like to eat? Nothing, but my son wants the kids' cheese pizza. You're not eating? No, but my son wants the kids' cheese pizza, so get me a goddamn kids' cheese pizza. My son's not really coming later. I just really wanted the kids' cheese pizza. It's exactly the right amount of food, it's not too much. You can take someone else's order now. I mean, can you believe this? I mean, it's not like they're gonna check my ID and see how old I am. It's not like there's food police that are gonna come arrest me if you give me the wrong pizza. I said you can take a different order! Sir, what would you like to eat? I'll have the steak, not microwaved. Oh, how would you like that cooked? On the grill? No, I mean your temperature. Well done. Okay, anything else? I want Outback! Simmons, down boy! Sir, what would you like to eat? Shit, I'm starving like a motherfucker. I can eat a quadruple cheeseburger for real, for real. Ooh, ordering off the secret menu. Hey, my guy, my guy, he knows. <laughs> oh, and I want to stay. How would you like that cooked? Shit, on your fine ass, on that wagon back there? Yeah, medium well. Uh, sir, what would you like? Uh, can I just get a cheeseburger? Yes, okay. Ooh, y'all see the fine ass waitress? Ooh, I'll pat that ass right now. Yes, I would also have sex with the waitress. What about you, Simmons? Would you have sex with the waitress if the opportunity presented itself? No, I only like having sex with your mom. Ew, but I'm not gonna let that ruin my good time here at Applebee's. What about you, Marvin? Sex with the waitress? Does she have a disease? Uh, Come on, Marvin! Come on, take a chance! Take no. a chance! Marvin, this is Applebee's. She's an Applebee's waitress. She's not gonna have a disease. I'm pretty sure they check. Well, um... Does my wife find out? Oh, Jesus, Marvin. Jesus. Just, just say yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's my boy. Yeah, that's my boy right there, you dirty old dog. bastard. Oh, you nasty. You, you. All right, here's your food. Does everything look okay? I mean, your cute ass ain't butt naked on my plate right now, so... Sir, please stop. Marvin, if that's not just the freshest mozzarella cheese I've ever seen. Bone dry. I can't wait to take the first bite of that. I, I mean, I can't wait until my son takes the first bite. I'm eating this pizza. I know. And what's this? Mott's applesauce? Tell the chef I love him. Let me know if you need anything. Damn, Pee Pee, look at that burger. They gave you the whole cow. I didn't know my ex-wife was on the menu. <laughs> well, guys, let's eat it. We still have to hit the casino after this. Hey, Marvin, you want to see my happy cheese pizza face? I love this pizza. All right, guys, we gotta eat. <laughs> oh, Marvin, that kid's cheese pizza sure hit the spot. I'm glad you enjoyed your kid's pizza, sir. Yeah, and that Mott's applesauce cup? Mwah, my compliments to the chef. It's store-bought. Well, someone picked it. Sir, it looks like you enjoyed your food. You ate almost all of it. Yeah, I was making room for dessert. So come lay your fine ass on this plate, or sit on Big Daddy's mustache and I'll give you a licking. 
Okay, are you all paying on one check or paying separately? Uh, police officers eat for free, right? No. I didn't like mine. You ate almost all of it. But I asked for well done and it wasn't well done. You ate almost all of it. Uh, ma'am, could you give us a second, please? Okay. Okay, so who's paying? Y'all ass! I was invited! I, I didn't even want to come here! I have food at the house, I am a chef, I can cook! Y'all are cops! Y'all got buku cash! Pay for it! Yeah, I only brought $20. Mm, okay, I have an idea. Uh, waitress! Yes? My friend Marvin here says you're really hot and he would have sex with you if he could. What? No, you guys said you would! No, no, he said he'll pat your ass right now on this table on top of this place. No, y'all said y'all would pat. Sir, how are you paying for the check? Ah, oh, shit, Marvin, that didn't work. I have another idea. Uh, what's that, dispatch? There's a shooting and kids! Oh, no, man, we gotta go right now. Those two aren't cops. Uh, yes, they are. They're, they're undercover cops, right, officers? Mm -hmm. Yeah, aye, aye, Captain. Yes, yeah, so... aye, aye, Captain. Uh, yeah, three of us are cops and one of us is a pirate, so let's go! All right, boys, let's bankrupt these scammers. Appreciate you, bro, for spreading me $20. I was broke as a joke. I'll just spend it wisely. Ooh, thanks, Dad. Oh, don't worry. We're going to leave this casino millionaires. You hear that, bitch? We're going to own this casino. <laughs> what do you think it's going to land on, Marvin? What does 1 to 12 mean? Well, apparently it's the age you have to be to order a fucking cheese pizza at Applebee's. Oh, well, I'm gonna put on that. What about you, Simmons? Black. Where? Uh, oh, so, sorry, my, my cop instincts kicked in. You meant on the table. I'm gonna go with boobies. They never fail me. It never lands on double zero. I'm gonna bet on the age of consent. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> not, not 13. I, I'm a cop. I, I actually know the age of consent. Not the age of consent in Japan. Look it up. It's true. It, it was 13 until just this year. They bumped it up to 16. I guess that's progress. Okay, bitch, spin that shit. Come on, come on, 18, 18! Black, black, black! Where, where, where? Come on, double zero, come on, double zero! Make me a millionaire! Seventeen! Yes, I won! Shit, I was one off! That has to count for something, right? Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it! Wait, wait, did I win? Was it one to twelve? Is seventeen between one and twelve? No. No, only Simmons won. Alright, give me my money, baby! Okay, guys, we only got one bet left. Well, I got three. I'm gonna stick with my boobies. It never lands on that! I'm gonna go all in on red. Hmm, tempting. But I'm gonna put it on the number of times I've cheated on my wife. Twenty-eight. I've counted. Um, what does odd mean? Really, Marvin? It means if it lands on an odd number. Okay, well, can you put mine on even for me? Okay, yeah, fine. <sighs> okay, ho! Could you spin that, please? Come on, 28! Come on, 28! Red, red, red! Double zero! Woo! Yeah! That's right, bitch! I'm a millionaire! Ha <laughs> ha! Hey, come here, ho! <laughs> Mmm, I'm a millionaire! You know it only pays out $350, right? And you owe me 20 of that. Shit, I don't know you. All this money going to the strip club for some hoes. I want to! What are you talking about, Simmons? It landed on double zero. That's green. No, it's red. Wait, wait Simmons, are you colorblind? What's that? What color is this, Matt? Uh, red? Oh, Jesus, you're colorblind. Wait, did I win? No, Marvin, it landed on double zeros. You bet on even numbers. Well, double zero is even. What are you talking about? It, well, because each person gets zero. But what? Okay, look, if we had one apple, then we have an odd amount of apples, right? But if we each had an apple, that's an even amount of apples. But if we both had no apples, we evenly have nothing. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, wait, wait a minute, did he win? No, 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 this is bullshit. I want to talk to the manager. Yeah, I definitely won. Get the manager. Is there a problem here, gentlemen? Yeah, Marvin, you tell him what you told me. Okay, so I bet on even numbers, and it landed on double zero. Correct. So did I win? No. Well, well you see, double zero is an even number, because each person gets zero. And double zero is exactly how many house payments you've made this month, Marvin. So why the hell are you spending money in my casino? It was only $20. Get the fuck out! Okay. Uh, uh, what about my friend? He's colorblind, and zero looks red to him. Get the fuck out. Okay, let's go to the strip club. Uh, can someone grease the pole, please? Oh, sweet Jesus. If I had any money left, I'd give it to her, and she'd forget I existed. Excuse me, ma'am. What are you willing to do for three dollars? Uh, nothing. You're a cop. Oh, damn it, Simmons. We're still dressed like cops. Of course she's not willing to have sex with you in exchange for three dollars. Uh, ma'am, we are cops, but when we get off duty, you should talk to him. He's a very nice man. Okay, whatever. I want to leave. No, Marvin, come on. Have some fun. Look at the bitch. That's someone's daughter. 
I have a daughter. Ma'am, what do I have to do to make sure my daughter doesn't end up like you? Don't kick her out of the house at 16. Okay, I'll write that down. But what about 18? I don't know. I didn't make it that far. How many kids do you have? Four and a half. What does half mean? Oh, all right, bitch. I got $350 in one. So let me see that ass twerk a little bit. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Hey, hey, hey. Meet me in the bathroom right now. Oh, what's wrong, Simmons? Are you sad that she wouldn't have sex with you for $3? Yeah, I'm sorry, buddy. You think the next stripper will do it? No? Okay, well, how about this? I got one more dollar. You think we can do it for four? Yeah, yeah, we'll get her to do it. Next stripper, please! Coming up next on stage, we have Clarissa. Oh, no way. No fucking way, boys. It's the Applebee's waitress. Hi! Hey, you guys again? You walked out without paying your bill. Yeah, well, we had a really important call. At the casino! <laughs> Actually, they robbed us. Well, that came out of my pay. Oh, sorry. Is that why you're dancing here? I work two jobs to provide for my son. Well, that's sad. Simmons, ask her the question. Ma'am, what are you willing to do for $4? Nothing. Leave me alone. Oh, look, you made Simmons sad. Look, please, he really just wants to have sex with a woman tonight for a ridiculously small amount of money. Well, I really need the money. Okay. Wait, so that's a yes? Yes. Get on the ground, bitch! You're under arrest! What? Yeah, you're under arrest for prostitution. We got her, Simmons. Yeah, I always get him with the puppy dog eyes. Wait, wait, what's going on? Oh, every week me and Simmons go to strip clubs to see if we can arrest the strippers for prostitution. Simmons usually does get them. She's gonna lose her job at Applebee's. Yeah. Hey, what you doing with my girlfriend? Get him, Greg. I got you, baby. Oh, look, Simmons, a challenger. Get him, Marvin. What, me? What you want, old man? Uh, nothing. I don't want anything. Marvin here said he was gonna pap your girlfriend. What? I, I didn't say I'd pap. They said they'd pap, and I, I said I'd pap. It was at Applebee's. Me and you outside right now. I'm gonna beat your ass. What? Go on, Marvin. Kick his ass. Wait, no, I'm gonna lose. Come on, Marvin. It's a classic strip club fight. You got him. He looks like a bitch. What? I, I can't fight. I'm not Come on, Marvin. You can do it. No. Uh, Marvin, what happened to you? He had the time of his life, that's what happened. Oh, well, I'm glad you enjoyed your boys' night out. No, Marvin, I know you lost that fight, but we arrested that guy and he's in jail for assault now. A fight? Oh, yeah, uh, it was at Applebee's. They only gave him four mozzarella sticks and things got pretty heated. Oh my god, guys, I had the night of my life. Man, boys' night out, that was a blast. <laughs> I had burgers, cash, in ass. Woo! Talk about a night to live for. Ooh, man, we need to do this more often. <laughs> Ass, what is he talking about? Oh, uh, we, we went to a donkey show at Applebee's where, uh, where the donkeys, they, they get up on stage and dance. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, anyway, me and Simmons are going to go back to selling calendars. Come on, Simmons, let's get on the invisible police horse.
Es un río siempre fluyendo, con cada cambio seguimos creciendo. A veces se escalma, a veces tormentan cada en cada giro de la vida nos enfrenta, cambiando con la vida, como las hojas al viento, encontrando nuestro camino en cada momento, momento, a través de las sesiones, a través del tiempo. Cambiando con la vida en su eterno movimiento. Eh, oh, oh. Cada amanecer trae una nueva oportunidad de dejar atrás el miedo, de buscar la verdad. Con cada paso dado aprendemos a vivir. La vida nos transforma, nos hace. Y aunque el camino sea incierto y el futuro no se vea claro, con el cambio encontramos nuestro verdadero fao. En cada desafío, en cada prueba, la vida nos moldea, nos lleva. Un lugar 